do yeah. coming on the show yeah. tonight. Thanks for having me. Thank you, Tom. All right, Lee. We'll be back in just a moment more with uh, Don Jones, head coach from Woodlawn, recruit of the week, and Jimmy Lear, a longtime assistant at Woodlawn High School. We'll talk some high school football and some recruiting. We'll be back in just a moment. Got plumbing problems? Call Central Plumbing Company. Since 1974, Central Plumbing has been the premier full-service plumbing company in the Baton Rouge area. With more than 20 licensed, bonded plumbers on staff and a fleet 20 trucks strong, Central Plumbing can take care of your plumbing problem 24-7. Sewer and drain service, leak detection, trenchless pipe replacement, and now a commercial division. So why call anyone but the best to take care of your plumbing problems? Central Plumbing Company, your one-stop plumbing shop. 925-8552. At Peak Performance Physical Therapy, we treat everyone from Grand Slam hitters to grandparents, now with six locations to serve you. If your doctor recommends physical therapy, ask for Peak Performance by name, the physical therapy choice of baseball players, grandparents, and everyone in between. The athlete relies on more than 400 bones and joints. And when they don't work together, you can trust one team that's equally committed to keeping you in the game. At the Bone and Joint Clinic of Baton Rouge, our dedicated sports medicine physicians work with athletes every day to make healing as painless and simple as possible. Because we know where you'd rather be. At Gulf Coast Office Products, we're at pace with the future, offering leading technology and multifunctional office equipment. Whether it's copying, printing, scanning, or faxing, you'll receive the best in quality right here locally. Gulf Coast has been an integral partner in providing the technology for our company's growth. From full color imaging equipment to document imaging software for storage and retrieval, we're leading the way. Gulf Coast Office Products, excellence in imaging solutions. At Peak Performance Physical Therapy, we treat everyone from Grand Slam hitters to grandparents, now with six locations to serve you. If your doctor recommends physical therapy, ask for Peak Performance by name, the physical therapy choice of baseball players, grandparents, and everyone in between. It's now time for the Key Point Key Recruit of the Week. This is our recruit of the week, Taji Jones from Sulphur High School. That's him, number eight, in white with the, the gold yellow helmet. 6'2", 205, runs a 4'5". Um, he's going to, his kid can go anywhere he wants in the state. Uh, his coach would know Don Jones. When you're 6'2", and you go out like that as a linebacker, uh, you can run laterally, run sideline to sideline. Uh, you got some special talent. Took on the fullback, knocked him out the way. I mean, he's got 42 losses this year behind the line, 30 last year. Uh, this is off of special teams coming down. He's uh, going to be in blue with the yellow helmet. Uh, watch him get the ball carry. Ran down, bam. First guy down on the special teams. And he's the stud guy on the team that doesn't mind playing special teams. Uh, there is again, number eight. Uh, I mean, this kid is going to weigh 220. When he fills out, you can tell he's very long and lean. He's got long arms. It's him in the pass uh, right there in the zone. He'll come and get him. Wasn't his guy, but, you know, just a ball player, Coach. Uh, Tremendous ball player. Would you like to have a 6'2 guy? I'd like to have about six five, or, guy five, like five or six <laughs> of them. Uh, we got Coach Don Jones from Woodlawn High School um, and Jimmy Lear. Jimmy, I appreciate you showing up with Coach, and you've been a, a longtime assistant with Coach. Been there five years and been there three years with Coach Jones, and Enjoyed it, no, no regrets. I didn't know tonight, till tonight, I've been to some of your practices. I've seen you over the years at Plaquemine High and you were at Winfield, but I didn't know you went to Faraday, the Faraday High School. I uh, graduated from Faraday High School and, um, you know, back a long time ago, Faraday uh, held the record for 60 straight wins or something, had some great players at LSU, Max Bugler and Donnie Day and some of those guys, Ronald Jeter. The last player signed from Faraday to LSU was a defensive back with the last name of Jenkins that never showed up. He was one of the first prop guys when they instituted prop with Mike Archer. That was back in 85. Not, but, not too long ago. Not too long ago. But, um, <clears throat> Coach, I'm going to go to the beginning of your career, I mean, and then we're going to get to Woodlawn. And, and, Jimmy, like I said, you can 
chime in at any time talking about the, the, the past, but A-Train, Anthony Thomas, played for the Bears in a long time, running back at the University of Michigan. Right. What was it like coaching A-Train Thomas, Anthony Thomas? Well, uh, Anthony was um, such a gentle person off the field, but he was an outstanding person. And, of course, he, um, I only coached him one year at Winfield, but uh, – there were games where he would rush for 300 yards a game, or he was just uh, a guy that was 6'2 and could run 4'5, four, 4'4. Four, four. And of course, you know, we all know that he went to Michigan and was his first year. They won the uh, national championship, and and uh, he was Big Ten Rookie of the Year. And and um, when he went to the Bears, he was uh, NFL Rookie of the Year. But he was just an outstanding person, so big, could run. And uh, I think the thing that I'm most proud of, he graduated four years, uh, at, at, you know, after being at Michigan. But he was a specimen. And it was uh, one of the, my fond memories of going there to have an opportunity to coach someone of his magnitude. Well, and, and what Coach also uh, loved is that he was 220 pounds in high school, what, about 230, 240 in the pros. How Unbelievable. Did he, how did he get the name train I guess running over people yeah just uh, his his way that he would run over people and and I can remember him playing a game that uh, we were in a foot of water and uh, he rushed for 300 yards wading in water he, he was that good but his footwork he was, was so good being that big exactly uh, we're gonna go to the buzz um, and and coach we're gonna do this at, we, we used to do it at the end of the show but we've run out of time and we never do the buzz so <laughs> I'm gonna throw out a couple of sleeper players um, and one is Paul Harris, uh, quarterback from Terra High School that I know y'all are familiar with. Um, missed his sophomore year, was hurt. Junior year, they didn't throw the ball much. This year, Terra throws the ball. He's got nine rushing touchdowns, 6'2", 185. To me, uh, a, a true runner, passer. Reminds me, if you're watching in Lafayette, a Michael DeSormo, that type of quarterback. He'll be about 200 pounds. Coaches has got a pretty good quarterback too, but and also Scotlandville has a defensive tackle named Lance Thomas. In the old days, he'd get a D1 scholarship like the Henry Thomases in old days, or uh, you know the Greg Bowsers. 5'11", 280, and will run sideline to sideline every play. Which coach I know that's hard to find on D line. Very in high hard school. to find. And you had one last year that could do that. Exactly, but the Harris kid from Terra is an outstanding player, a great athlete. Uh, your nose guard last year, Brown, that graduated, um, same thing, height. Uh, he was a little, little short, but I'm telling you, he dominated from, uh, you know, the inside of the tackles, and uh, he was just a great football player. We're going to take a break. When we come back, I'm going to talk about Brian Mitchell, uh, former Plaquemine quarterback, former USL quarterback back in the day, USL. Coach coached him at Plaquemine and coached him at USL, and we're going to talk a little bit with Jimmy Lear about Woodlawn and uh, the starters and who they have this week and they played Catholic this past week. We'll be back with more Louisiana Football TV Magazine. 